Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is the part 2 in the series. Make sure to go through part 1 if you haven't watched it. Alright, now we need to create the loop around the eye. Go with Shift A, Mesh, Circle. We need to change the vertices for the circle about 14. Hit RX 90 degrees to rotate the circle, one numpad to front view, G to grab as to scale and place the circle just so. In the side view we need to push the circle along the Y axis just like that. Hit tab to switch to the edit mode, one on the keyboard to go to the vertex select. Now we need to place the vertices around the green loop for the eye. Go to the side view and remember. In the side view we need to push along the Y axis only. And as you see guys we have the perfect reference image. That's why it's easy to find the shape. When you are done you should have the same result that I have. A to select everything, E to extrude and S to scale. We need to repeat the last process and follow the lines for the green color. When you are done hold Alt, click on this loop to select it. Hit E to extrude, S to scale, Alt Z to switch to the X-ray mode and now we need to follow the inner line for the eye. Make sure to follow the lines from the front view and from the side view as well. Hit Ctrl A all transforms, go to the modifiers and add a mirror modifier. Don't forget to activate clipping. Go to add modifier and add a subdivision service modifier or hit Ctrl 2 on the keyboard. Mouse right click, shade smooth. I like to activate this cage to see the vertices better. Hit Ctrl R to add a loop cut around there. And of course we need to place the vertices along the lines from the side and from the front. As you see guys in the 3D viewport we have the simple shape for the eyes. Hold Alt, select this loop and hit EY to extrude along the Y axis. S and scale it a bit. We need to bring the 3D cursor into this area. Hold Shift S, cursor to select it. Tap to switch to the object mode and as you see the 3D cursor is there. We need to add the eyeballs. Go with Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere. Bring the segments down into 12. Hit RX 90 degrees to rotate. Now hit S to scale. Go to the front view, S again. From the side view move along the Y axis and place the eyeball just like that. Hit Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision service modifier. Please try to line up the circle in the side view with the eyeball. Go to the side view and try to follow the lines for the reference image. Don't be shy and move the camera crazy around the eyeballs to get the final result. Hold Shift, select these vertices and push them back along the Y axis. This point is very important. Ignore the reference image in the moment because we can see through the eyeball. And of course try to follow the lines for the reference image from the side and from the front. Hold Shift S. Cursor toward origin, Ctrl A, all transforms and add a mirror modifier. In the edit mode, select this vertex, hold Ctrl, mouse left click to select new vertices. Hit N, go to the item menu and from here we need to increase the mean crease a bit to get sharp edges. Select this vertex and this one and push the mean crease up just like that. We need to add more support loop cuts around the eyes for the animation process later. Ctrl R to add a loop cut around there. And right now you can definitely control the mesh as you like. I think guys you get it. I explained the important loops to create the eyes. In the edit mode select this vertex, hold Ctrl, mouse left click to select new vertices. Hit E for extrude and follow the lines for the reference image. Select these vertices, E again and here we go. Take your time and place the vertices along that edges. And now we are ready to join the mesh together. Select the eyes, hold shift, select this loop and hit Ctrl J to join. In the edit mode, select this vertex, hold shift, select this one, hit M at center in this way we can merge the vertices together select this one this one m at center this one and this one and merge them together select this one and this one m at center and as you see we have a big distortion in the mesh to fix that hit a to select everything shift n to recalculate the normals don't forget to hit shift s to save your work we need to fill the hole in the face 
I think it's really easy for you right now. Select these vertices, extrude them, hold shift, select these four vertices, F to fill them. Select these four vertices, hit F to fill them. Now select this one and this one and hit F a few times to fill the mesh. Shift A, mesh, circle and bring the vertices down into 14. RX90 to rotate around the X axis. Tap to edit mode, A to select everything and place the circle around the mouth. As X to scale along the X axis. Select the vertices and place them around the mouth. A to select everything and push the vertices along the Y axis. Select this vertex and push it back along the Y axis and do the same thing for the nether vertices. We can place the half of the vertices around the mouth because we are going to add a mirror modifier. In the front view, select these vertices, hit X and delete them. Go to the modifiers, add modifier, solidify modifier and activate clipping. A to select everything, E to extrude and place the new vertices around the mouth. Guys, this loop is very important to create the lips. Make sure to make this one. Go to edit mode again. Hold Alt left mouse click to select this loop. E to extrude as to scale and follow the lines. As you see, it's looked somehow like a mouth. Ctrl 2 to add a subsurf modifier. Mouse right click, shade smooth and activate the cache for the subsurf modifier. Select this loop, E to extrude, SZ to scale along the Z axis. Hit E again and push the vertices back along the Y axis. SZ and scale the vertices a bit just like that. Go to the side view, E again, SZ. And of course this area is gonna be the throat for this character. In the front view, hit O or click on this icon to activate the proportional editing. This tool is my favorite tool. If we hit O, we need to scroll the mouse wheel to increase or decrease the strength. Hit G to move and here we go. Select these vertices on the corner and make sure that the proportional editing is on and hit S for scale. Select these vertices and hit H to hide them. In the front view, we can extrude these vertices just like that. Select these vertices, E to extrude and place them around the mouth. And now select these four vertices and hit F to fail them. So guys, it's time to join the mouth with the head. Select the mouth, hold shift, select the head and hit Ctrl J. Select this vertex, hold shift, select this one and hit M at center. In this way, we can merge the vertices together. Select this one and this one and hit Shift R to repeat the last command. Select this one and hit Shift R once again and once again. A to select everything, Shift N to recalculate the normals. Select these vertices, go to the item menu and push the mean crease up just like that. Select this one and this one and push the mean crease up. And of course you can take your time to move the vertices and get the final look. For me it's look okay for now. The last thing that we can do before we creating the nose is to fill this hole. Select this one, hold Ctrl, mouse right click to create new vertices. And as you know, we need to place the vertices from the side and from the front. When you are done, hold Shift, select these four vertices, F to fill. Select this one and this one and hit F few times. Well done guys, and now we are ready to create the node. Select this vertex, hold Ctrl, mouse right click to create a new vertex. Hold Shift, select this one, this one, this one and this one and hit F to fail. Select this vertex, hold Ctrl, mouse right click and create a new one. And of course we need to be careful and place the vertices exactly from the front and from the side. Again, select this one, hold Ctrl, mouse right click, place the vertices from the front and from the side. Select this vertex, hold Ctrl, mouse right click to create a new one. And now we have a quad, F to fail. Hold shift, select this one, this one, this one and this one and hit F to fail. Select this vertex, hold Ctrl, mouse right click to create two vertices. And now it's easy, select this one and this one, this one and this one, F to fail and do the same thing for the nether vertices. Select this vertex, hold Ctrl, mouse right click to create new vertices just like that. Place the vertices from the side view as well. Hold shift, select these vertices, hit F to fail. Select this one and this one, hit F 
and F one more time. We have the corner of the nose right there, you see it? Congratulations guys, because the corner of the nose it's very hard to create and to find. We need to create a new one from the corner right there. Select this vertex and extrude a new one. Select this one, hold Ctrl mouse right click to extrude a new one. As usual, select these four vertices, F to fill and one more time, F to fill. Select this one, hold shift, select this one and E to extrude. And again, we have to fill these four vertices. One last time, select this one, hold Ctrl mouse right click to create a new one. Hold shift, select this one, this one and this one, F to fill and fill these four vertices. Ctrl R to add a new loop cut right there. Hold Alt, mouse left click to select this loop. Go to the side view, E to extrude. Hit E again, S to scale and F to fill. If you still follow me until this point, you need to know that you are awesome guys, because the nose it's very hard and difficult to create. Select these vertices, hit E to extrude. Select this one, hold shift, select this one and hit E to extrude. I think you got it. We need to create a circle around the ear and following the lines for the reference image. In the side view, select these four vertices and extrude them. One more time, extrude them, go to the top view and hit E to extrude. Ctrl R to add two loop cut there and follow the lines for the reference image. So guys, we need to fill this hole. I'm gonna run this video in the time lapse and I will be back again. Select these vertices and extrude them. Select one, two, three, four vertices, F to fill. Select this one and this one, E to extrude. Go to the side view and place the vertices just like so. Now select this one and this one, E to extrude and do the same thing. Select these four vertices, F to fill them. And one more time, select these vertices, F to fill them. We have a triangle on the chin as you see. To fix that, select this vertex, hold shift, select this one, hit M at center. Here we go, we have a quad and that's what we are looking for. Hold Alt, left mouse click to select this loop and extrude the neck. Don't forget to place the vertices from the side and from the front as well. So we are ready to create the ears. For the ears we need to upload a new reference image because the ears are difficult and hard to create. In the side view go with shift A image reference and select this one. S for scale, G for grab just like that. Go with Shift A Mesh Cube, S for Scale. In the Edit mode, mouse right click, Merge Vertices, Claps. In the Edit mode, hold Ctrl mouse right click to create new vertices and follow the lines for the reference image. Select this vertex, hold Shift, select this one, hit F to fill. A to select everything, hit F to fill. Hit K on the keyboard to activate the knife tool. The knife tool can be used to cut up geometry by drawing lines on the surface. As we said before, K to activate the knife tool and start to follow the lines for the reference image. When you finish the first cut, you should hit enter on the keyboard to apply the cut. I think you get it. Now we need to follow all the lines in the reference image. We can also connect vertices together. Select this one, hold shift, select this one and hit J on the keyboard. When you are finished, Alt Z to go to the X-ray mode. 
hit 3 on the keyboard to switch to the face select or click on this icon. In this way we can select faces, not vertices only. Now we need to select the faces on the green color. Hit E for extrude, just like so. Hit Ctrl 2 to add a subsurf modifier. In the face select, select this face E to extrude. Now select the red color and push it back along the X axis. One more time, select these faces and push them back along the X axis. Select this face and push it back just like so. Select the gauge, one on the keyboard to switch to the vertex select and try to follow the lines for the reference image correctly. Select this vertex and push it backward along the X axis. Select this one and push it forward along the X axis. You need to push this vertex forward along the X axis just like so and this one. I recommend to have many reference image for the ears. Select these four vertices and push them back just like so. Select this one and this one and push them back along the X axis. For me it's look okay right now. You can of course improve the shape and take your time to get the better result. Hold Alt, select this loop and hit E to extrude. As for scale. In the edit mode, A to select everything and G to grab the ear into the head. In the front view, hit RZ to rotate around the Z axis and push the ear a bit along the X axis. Select this loop and push it along the X axis as for scale. Go to the top, scroll the mouse wheel, click here and activate statistic. And as you see, now we can know how many vertices has this object, how many edges, faces, etc, etc. Hold Alt, mouse left click to select this edge. We have 11 vertices along this edge. Select the head, go to the edit mode, select this edge and we have 11 vertices around this edge. And this is what we are looking for, the same vertices around the both edges. Select the ear, hold shift, select the head and hit Ctrl J to join. Go to the edit mode, we should have the both edges selected and hit Ctrl E, bridge edge loops. All what we need to do is hit O on the keyboard to activate the proportional editing and improve the shape. And that's it guys, in the next video I'm going to show you how you can create the body.